the theme for today's class is 50 shades of binds we'll start with a pranayama or breathing exercise so come into baddha konasana the soles of your feet are touching and chest opener put your fingertips on the mat behind you and lift up through your chest and if right away you feel tension in your hips then you can cr simply cross your ankles. Spread your toes, flex them back towards your shins, your feet are active. The pranayama breathing today is Shivananda breath. It's inhaling for as long as possible, hold for as long as it's comfortable, exhale for as long as possible, hold. So that's a pattern of breath. So before we start, let me just tell you the intent for today's class. The intent, something that you feel for in every single pose today is tap into pleasure, delight in your practice. Give yourself a luxury of feeling and connecting to your sensuality. So with your fingertips behind you, lift up through your chest. Your hands are like kickstands right behind you. You can bend the elbows a little bit to help you lift your chest up. Close your eyes and start with an exhale. Empty out your lungs. And now slowly inhale, lift up through your belly, through your sternum. And once you're completely full, hold your breath and feel for relaxing your throat, relax your jaw, your shoulders. Exhale slowly. Pause at the bottom of your exhale and then repeat Shivananda breath. Inhale for as long as, as, as possible. And hold for as long as it's comfortable to you. And notice how when you hold your breath, we tend to tense up here, so soften internally, chin down a little bit, Sean, relax your jaw, and then exhale slowly. Keep going at your own pace, giving your breath the highest quality of your attention. And see this pranayama or breathing exercise is an opportunity to go inside and connect. Connect in feeling with your own self, with your body, with your breath. And it's as though you're using your breath like fingertips to feel around your body. what feels tight, what needs extra attention from you today. Where can you relax and let go a little bit more so that you can feel pleasure, so that you can delight in your practice, so that you can truly enjoy your practice being alive, And do one more round of Shivananda breath. Clear, lift up through your sternum more and spread open through your collarbones, yes. Feet are active. Spread your toes, flex your toes back towards your shins. And when you are done with this last round of Shivananda breath, fold forward and walk your hands in front of your shins. And hang your head down and give yourself a moment here to open up your low back, your hips. And if it feels good to you, you can sway side to side. Breathe into your sacrum, mid and low back. Using your breath like fingertips to feel around your pelvis, your low back. Feel for all those areas that need a little extra attention, maybe those areas that feel extra good to you right now. 
and relax the back of your neck. Move your shoulders down away from your ears. And to come out of this pose, press your hands down into the mat and sit up. Moving into Marichyasana A. So Raja, please turn sideways. Left leg is straight, right knee is bent, right knee is straight up. So for this first part, spread all of your toes and inhale, stretch your right arm up and exhale, fold forward, reaching both arms up in front of you. You can place your hands on the mat in front of you. If you're feeling extra, you can go for that first bind, wrapping your right arm around your leg and connecting your hands behind your back if you want. The binds are optional. You can also use your strap. If the stretch feels too intense for that extended leg, you can bend the knee slightly. If you feel like you're about to fall on one side, then move your right foot to the right a little bit. Stay here. Inhale, telescope your ribs forward. Feel for length in your belly, in your sternum. And then exhale, fold. So this is where you get to tap into your patience. Patiently waiting for your body to open up, to let go. And the best thing that helps with patience is deep breath. So connecting with your deep breath, enjoy your breath. And if, you're bind, if you have the bind, let go of your bind, sit up. We're going for a twist. Inhale, stretch your left arm straight up. Open up the left side body and exhale, twist to your right. You can hook your left elbow on the outer edge of your right leg. Inhale and lift up through your side waist, side ribs, your sternum. Exhale, press your elbow gently against your outer knee and twist. You're massaging your internal organs right now. You're wringing out stiffness out of your spine. If you're feeling extra, you can go for the bind or not. It's up to you here. Now remember, this is our first pose, so take your time. This, is, this pose is designed to help you explore how you feel this morning. How does your body feel like right now? And I'm twist, half lotus, shin bound, spinal twist. You can place your right foot into half lotus or place it on the floor next to your groin. Wrap your left arm around your low back and you have some options here. You can hold on to your pants. You can hold on to your inner thigh. Maybe you can reach for your shin. You can also use a strap. And then with your right arm, reach towards your, your left outer foot. You can also place your foot, place your hand on your outer shin. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Make your torso super long. Exhale, roll open through your left shoulder. You're twisting your heart up towards the sky and then hang your head down towards your right shoulder so that you can experience all this pleasure along the left side of your neck. Relax your jaw. You can even open your mouth slightly so your, your back teeth are separate. They're not touching. Inhale slowly and deeply. Lengthen through your low belly, low back. Exhale, stretch your left collarbone up towards the sky. It's a tiny little move. And then let go of all the residual tension in your neck, your jaw, your throat. Jennifer, let go in your neck a little bit more. Oh, here you go. And now enjoy that. And release. Now this last pose is when you fold directly straight over that, that uh, bended leg, right? So you're going into forward fold. 
If your foot is in half lotus, you can wrap your left arm, let me see. Right arm around your low back, catch your half lotus foot and then fold forward. So Jackie, if you want, you could do that. Inhale, scoop your heart forward, make your belly long, and then exhale, fold a little bit deeper. You can sway side to side if it feels good. And release. Let's switch to the other side. This time, your right leg is straight, your left knee is bent, knee is straight up. Inhale, stretch your left arm straight up, open up the left side body, and then exhale, forward fold. So that left knee is straight up, Roger. And then you can go for the bind if you want, you don't have to. Jennifer, step your left foot a little bit more to the left. It will give you more stability. Here we go. Now remember, practice here without struggle. So if you're bounded right now and you notice that it makes it harder for you to breathe, let go of your bind and simply fold forward. You can bend your leg, that right leg, to feel for pleasure. Practice in a way that feels good to you. And release. Going for that twist, inhale, right arm straight up, open up the right side body, and then exhale, twist to your left. You can hook your elbow outside of your knee. Inhale, lift up through your diaphragm, through your sternum, and then exhale, press your elbow against your knee and twist. And stay connected with your deep breath. So right now, you're massaging your internal organs. Maybe you can even hear your spine crack a little bit. You're wringing out stiffness, tightness out of your spine. And untwist. Half lotus, shin bound, spinal twist. Place your left foot into half lotus. Wrap your right arm around your low back. Catch your yoga pants, inner thigh, maybe your shin. And with your left arm, reach towards the outer edge of your right foot, or you can place your hand on your outer shin. Take a juicy, long inhale and make your whole upper body super long. Exhale, roll open through your right shoulder, roll open through that right collarbone and hang your head down. If it feels good to you, you can move your head back and forth side to side. Those little small movements will help you discover the areas in your neck that are tighter or that need extra attention. And once you find a spot that feels particularly good, you can pause there and take a deep, deep breath in. And then exhale and let go. Your neck is the most central part of your body, yet we hold so much stress and tension in the neck. When you relax your neck, you get, you get to feel pleasure. You get to delight in your practice. And untwist. And then fold straight over your, straight over your legs. If you want to go for that bind, you can wrap your left arm around your low back and catch your half lotus foot and then fold. So you have lots of options to play here. Inhale, lengthen through your side ribs, side waist, and exhale, fold. If it feels good, you can rock a little bit side to side. Alyssa, roll your left ribs down towards the floor a little bit more. Here we go. Inviting your hamstrings to open up, your hips, your low back to open up. 
and release. Press your hands down into the mat as you sit up. And then watch Roger really quickly. Roger, um, frog lifting through or straddle lifting through. Can you demo frog lifting through with your feet on the wall? So if you have a wall nearby, you can play, just watch him. Um, he's gonna demo frog first with his feet touching the wall and his butt is about shin's distance away from the wall. So clasp your hands behind your neck and head, Roger. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders up. Watch this move, guys. Exhale, curl tailbone up, reach out through your inner thighs. With the feet against the wall, you will feel your hips opening up in a different way. Or you can straddle lifting through. Roger, can, can you demo that? Straddle with our, is when your legs are straight. So pick one. Pick something right now. Lie down on your back and open up your legs either into straddle or frog. If you have the wall nearby, that's like an extra bonus. You don't have to have the wall. If your feet are on the wall in frog, then turn your inner ankles to face the sky more, Janet. So your feet are, like, here we go, like parallel to the floor. Yes, and Lisa, open up your legs more. Now you guys are in the comfort of your own home. Let it all hang out. Ain't nobody watching, just me. Clasp your hands behind your neck and head, elbows in. Start with an exhale, press your lower back down into the mat. Now inhale, lift your head and shoulder blades off the floor. And without jerking, exhale, curl your pubic bone up towards your navel. Reach out energetically through your inner thighs and pull your low belly in. Now set your pelvis down, relax your pelvis and take a deep inhale down into your pelvis. Exhale, curl your pubic bone up towards your navel. It's a very small movement. Reach out through your inner thighs, pull your low belly in. Relax your pelvis, relax your jaw. Inhale, lift your shoulder blades higher off the floor. Exhale, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. Jacqueline, lower your feet closer down towards the floor. Pull low belly in. Relax your pelvis. Relax your hip joints. Take a big breath, filling up your pelvic bowl with breath. Exhale, curl pubic bone up. It's a really small movement, guys. Avoid jerking your body around. Energetically reach out through your inner and outer thighs. Relax your jaw and pull low belly in. Set pelvis down. Inhale, lift your head and shoulders higher off the floor. Exhale, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. Reach out through your active feet. Legs are active. Pull your low belly in. Relax your pelvis. Inhale, down into your pelvis, pressing low back down into the mat. Exhale, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. If you're in straddle, reach out through your inner and outer feet here. Roberta, open your legs even wider. Here we go, pull low belly in. Relax your pelvis, inhale, lift, head and shoulders higher, open up your throat. Exhale, curl pubic bone up towards your navel. Reach out through your thigh bones, feel your hips, your pelvis opening. Inhale, set pelvis down. Exhale, place your head and shoulders on the floor. Place your hands on your outer thighs and use your arms to bring your legs together. And you can hug your knees in towards your chest if it feels good. You can rock side to side, breathe deeply. And just enjoy, enjoy all these sensations in your hips, in your pelvis. Feel how the energy is flowing more into your hip joints. And then bend your knees, roll to your side, and come on up and watch Roger demo dolphin strut. So for dolphin strut, forearms are parallel to each other on the floor. You, start, you first start with a dolphin, simply lifting the hips up. Watch, because it's a little bit different than dolphin. Then for dolphin strut, feet are wider. Roger, with your left hand, reach towards your left heel calf or whatever you can reach and then we'll hold here without leg lifts here the, roger demo that part where you move your ribs away from your legs watch that 
It was a subtle movement, but he feels it in his upper back. Okay, thank you, Roger. Let's do it together. Bring your forearms on the mat. And if you know that you require extra support, you can clasp your fingers. It's a little bit easier when your hands are clasped. Palms are flat on the floor, otherwise relax your neck. Start with a deep inhale into your upper back. Exhale, curl toes under and lift your hips up. And stay here, stay in dolphin for a few breaths. You can walk it out, bending the knees right and left, right and left. Wait patiently for your hamstrings to open up, your shoulders to become alive. Energetically reach your sit bones up towards the sky and relax your neck, let your head hang. Stay here, inhale into your upper back and shoulders. Exhale, wrap the bottom tips of the shoulder blades towards the armpits. Feel how those serratus anterior muscles wake up. Now, if this is already plenty interesting to you, stay here. If you want to go for dolphin strut, widen your feet a little bit, maybe four inches or so. With your right hand, reach back towards your heel, ankle, or calf, whatever you can reach. Relax your neck. Lift your right shoulder away from your ear. Wrap your left shoulder blade strongly towards the armpit. And then feel for that little movement when you move your ribs away from your legs. Feel how it opens up your upper back here. and switch to the other side. You can place your knees down if you need to reset. And then to the other side, left hand towards your left heel, ankle or calf. Keep a strong wrap in your right shoulder blade. This is where your stability comes from. And then lift your left shoulder up away from your ear. Reach your heels down towards the floor and move your ribs away from your legs. Feel how that little tiny movement opens up your upper back. And release, slowly ease your way out of the pose. Sit up, take a deep breath in, maybe, maybe move your shoulders a little bit. Yeah, take a big breath in. Feel how your chest is more open now. Your shoulders are open right now. Feel the pleasure of that. And then come standing at the top of your mat for suns, classical suns. Have a sip of water, stay hydrated. At the top of your mat, your hands are in prayer. Move with your breath, inhale, stretch your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, forward fold. Lunge, step your left foot back, place your knee down on the mat and lower your groin down towards the floor. And now hold here for a few breaths. If it feels good, you can sway your hips side to side slowly. Breathe down into your pelvis, inviting your body to open up. And you can stay here with your hands on the floor. You can place your hands on the knee or you can stretch your arms up towards the sky. You have lots of options to play with. Inhale, lift up through your ribs. Exhale, hands down, step back into modified chaturanga. Place your knees down on the mat and lower down onto your belly. Low cobra, move your hands 12 inches ahead of the shoulders and drag your ribs forward and then up just a little bit. Tuck your tailbone down towards the floor. Reach back through your inner feet. Exhale, down dog. Lunge, step your left foot forward between your hands. Place your back knee down. Lower your hips down. And if it feels good, you can sway side to side, opening up your pelvis, your quads, or stretch your arms up towards the sky. Take a huge breath in, lift up through your heart. 
exhale forward fold step up to the top of your mat without cranking up your neck keep your neck relaxed press down to your inner feet inhale come all the way up reach up tuck tailbone down as you reach up exhale forward fold lunge step your right foot back knee down hands can stay down or you can stretch your arms up exhale hands down step back into modified chaturanga knees down lower down onto your belly low cobra hands ahead of the shoulders by about 12 inches drag your ribs forward and then up just a tiny bit exhale down dog lunge step your right foot forward between your hands lower your hips down and your hands can stay down to support your lower back or you can stretch your arms up big breath in lift your sternum up exhale step up to the top of your mat forward fold with your neck completely relaxed inhale come all the way up to standing stretch up reach up exhale forward fold easy twisting lunge step your left foot back both legs are at a 90 degree angle left hand is on the floor and stretch your right arm up towards the sky easy twisting lunge inhale move your diaphragm away from your pubic bone exhale roll open through your right shoulder and then hang your head down towards the floor let the weight of your head traction out your neck and then lastly glide your left shoulder blade down your back move that bottom shoulder good job janet and take a deep breath in here and enjoy enjoy your heart opening up enjoy massaging your internal organs because if this is a twist you're waking up lubricating your spine and release ease your way out of the pose step back into modified chaturanga lower your knees down lower down onto your belly low cobra hands are ahead of the shoulders pull your ribs forward and then up just a tiny bit keep a strong tuck in your tailbone exhale down dog good tuck Alyssa easy twisting lunge step your left foot forward between your hands this time stretch your left arm up towards the sky and hang your head down wake up your toes lift and spread your toes move your right hip back so your right hip stacks up directly over your back knee inhale lengthen through your side ribs side waist exhale roll open through your top shoulder you can bend the top arm just a little bit so you can move both shoulder blades away from your ears opening up your chest your shoulders your upper back and twist and step up to the top of your mat forward fold hang your head down inhale come all the way up to standing stretch up exhale forward fold lunge heel to butt step your right foot back pad your back knee now move gently be gentle with yourself reach back with your right hand and grab hold of your foot take a deep breath here feel all the sensations in your body bend your front knee way more and lower your hips down towards the floor good job Claire that was a good move inhale lift up through your side ribs and exhale move your right ribs right hip closer towards your left inner thigh it will be a tiny move but you will definitely feel it in your hip flexor your quad amp up your breath Alyssa lift up through your ribs more yes and let go step back chaturanga inhale low cobra pull your ribs forward when you pull your ribs forward you get to create space between the vertebrae in your low back exhale down dog lunge heel to butt step your right foot forward between your hands pad your back knee and reach back with your left hand grab hold of your foot 
Breathe as you bring your heel closer to your butt. And then ever so slightly move your left hip, left ribs closer towards your right inner thigh. Relax your jaw. You're tapping into a lot of energy right now, the energy in your pelvis, the energy in your quad. Amp up your breath so that the energy, that energy that you're unlocking right now, so it can start moving through your body. Amp up your breath. And release, let go of your foot. Step up to the top of your mat, forward fold, relax your throat, your neck. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, stretch up, reach up. And exhale, hands at heart center. B series with vignettes. Inhale, bend the knees, chair pose. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, scoop your heart forward and up. Feel length in your lower belly. Exhale, chaturanga. Inhale, cobra, maybe upward facing dog. Lisa, move your shoulders back. The heads of the shoulders back, yes. Exhale, down dog. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs. Step your left foot forward between your hands for warrior two. Front heel bisects the middle of your back arch in warrior two. Relax your arms down. Your arms are passive in this pose. Take a deep inhale across your shoulders and your upper back. Hold breath, lift your shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze the top portion of your shoulder blades together. Exhale, squeeze and drag shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, widen your upper back. Exhale, squeeze mid shoulder blades together and drag shoulder blades down your back. Relax your upper back and arms. Take a big inhale into your shoulders. Exhale, squeeze the bottom tips of the shoulder blades together. Bend your elbow, squeeze your elbow tips together and drag shoulder blades down your back. Relax your neck, relax your arms, relax your upper back. Take a big breath into your upper back. Hold breath, lift your shoulders straight up, straight back. Squeeze the top portion of your shoulder blades together. Exhale, drag shoulder blades down your back. Relax your upper back, take a big breath in. Exhale, squeeze mid shoulder blades together, drag shoulder blades down. Take a big inhale, across your upper back, relax it. Exhale, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together, bend your elbow, squeeze your elbow tips together and drag shoulder blades down your back. Archer, warrior two, stretch your left arm up towards the sky, bend your elbow, and with your right hand, guide your elbow straight up. Lift up your chin. Inhale into your left side body, enjoy it, opening up, stretching. You can stay here, or you can bring your right arm behind your back and connect your hands between your shoulder blades. If your hands are not quite touching yet, you can use a strap. Everybody, pull your low belly in and tuck your tailbone down. Lift up your chin, relax your throat. Archer is an excellent way to open up your shoulders, upper back. And the reason why we're opening up the shoulders right now is because we are moving into binds. So breathe deeply and enjoy. Savor the opening in your shoulders. Extended warrior variation. Place your left forearm on your thigh. Wrap your right arm around your lower back. Hold on to your yoga pants or your inner thigh. Hold on to something with your right hand because it will help you open up the right shoulder more. Inhale. Move your sternum away from your pubic bone, lengthen through your torso. Exhale, roll your right collarbone up towards the sky and then hang left, your bottom shoulder down and feel for pleasure. The more you let go in your neck, the more you get to tap into pleasure. 
Sean, let go in your neck even more. Relax your throat, your jaw. Giving your breath the highest quality of your attention. Breathe in a way that helps you delight in your practice. Delight in your breath. And release. Step back, Chaturanga. Spread your fingers and your hand bones wide. Inhale, lift and open your heart. Give yourself time to enjoy this heart opening. And then exhale, down dog. Warrior two with shoulder shrugs. Step your right foot forward between your hands. Front heel bisects the middle arch of your back foot. Arms are passive. Relax your arms. Inhale into your upper back and shoulders. Hold breath, lift your shoulders straight up, straight back, squeeze the top portion of your shoulder blades together, drag shoulder blades down, exhale. Inhale, relax your upper back and shoulders. Exhale, squeeze mid shoulder blades together and drag shoulder blades down your back. Inhale, relax, open up your upper back. Exhale, squeeze the bottom tips of your shoulder blades together. Bend your elbow, squeeze your elbow tips together and drag shoulder blades down your back. Do two more rounds on your own. You can close your eyes as you are playing with shoulder shrugs and pay attention. In this pose, you're learning to isolate different muscles in your upper back. Take your time, slow it down. You're warming up your shoulders. You're actually strengthening your upper back and shoulders. You're getting your shoulders ready for those binds. Pull your lower belly in as you're playing with shoulder shrugs. Relax your jaw. Archer, Archer Warrior Two. Stretch your right arm straight up towards the sky. Bend your elbow and with your other hand, Guide your elbow straight up. Now that right shoulder blade tends to pike up towards your ear. Use the muscle, it's called serratus anterior. It's the muscle along the bottom tip of your shoulder blade. Use that muscle to drag your shoulder blade down your back and then wrap the right shoulder blade towards the armpit. And then you can bring your left arm behind your back and connect your hands. Archer is a wonderful way to bring more mobility, more strength, more flexibility into your shoulders and upper back. Chin up, relax your throat and enjoy. Enjoy your heart, your chest opening. Pull low belly in, use your butt muscles to tuck tailbone down. Extended warrior variation. Place your right forearm on your thigh. Wrap your left arm around your lower back. Go for yoga pants or your inner thigh. You have to hold on to something with that hand so that the left shoulder and the left side of your neck can open up. Inhale, fill up your lungs. Exhale, stretch left collarbone up towards the sky, even if it moves just one millimeter and then relax your neck, let your head hang heavy down towards your bottom shoulder. You can open your mouth wide and you can feel that when you open your mouth wide, you separate your back teeth, different muscles in your neck can let go actually. Jennifer, slide that bottom shoulder down, down your back, yes, here you go. And release, vinyasa, step back, chaturanga. Spread hand bones wide, inhale, lift and open your heart. Enjoy this pose. It's not just a transition. And then exhale, down dog. Eagle warrior one, step your left foot forward between your hands. Bring your right arm underneath your left for eagle arms, or you can give yourself a big hug if your hands are not quite interwining right now. Feel the back of your heart. Inhale into that space between the shoulder blades. 
Exhale, feel your shoulder blades move away from each other. Move your elbows a little bit away from your heart. Lift your elbows slightly higher than your heart. Simultaneously move your shoulders down, away from your ears, and then lower your chin down. Eagle, another way, another wonderful way to open up shoulders, upper back. In eagle, you get to feel the back of your heart more. So right now, breathe deeply as you wiggle your ribs just sensually, side to side and you can feel your shoulder blades separate. If you really are skilled at it, you can feel your back ribs separate away from each other. And when they do, you can take a deeper breath using more of your lung capacity. Because your lungs go all the way back to your back body. And unwind your arms, twisting warrior. Inhale, stretch your right arm up towards the sky. Open up the right side body, enjoy it. Exhale, place your right elbow tip on your thigh. Make a fist with your right hand, left palm is on top of your fist. Now, if you need extra support, you can totally place your back knee down. So you're twisting the other way, Lisa. Here we go. Inhale, make your belly long. Exhale, roll open through your top shoulder. Please press your top hand on top of your fist. This will make it easier to twist deeper. And then hang your head down. So in this pose, you get to tap into the strength of your legs, your core. And once you feel the strength of your leg and the strength of your core, you can relax your neck and not fall out of the pose. Like that, Jacqueline. <laughs> Use your legs and your core more. And then when you completely relax your neck, you get to feel the pleasure of not only relaxing all those tight muscles in the neck, but you also get to relax your brain. Feel for that. Twisting triangle. Straighten out both legs. Right hand down, left arm up. Now give yourself some time here. So some of you step the right foot forward and that's why you're confused. This is actually twisting triangle. So Janet, I believe you twist the other way. Yeah, here you go. In forest yoga, we always start with the left foot forward um, to kind of like change the habitual pattern of starting everything on the right side. Roll open the, through your top shoulder, Stacy more. Yes. And release. Step back, Chaturanga. Spread your fingers and your hand bones wide. Inhale, open your heart, open up your collarbones. The heads of the shoulders back, Lisa, more. Exhale, down dog. Eagle Warrior One, step your right foot forward between your hands and then bring your left arm underneath your right. And I'm going to be quiet here for a moment. I want to give you a chance to wiggle in any way that you want to wiggle, dance a little bit, breathe in any way that helps you feel your shoulders and upper back opening. Relax your throat. Alyssa, chin up, or not chin up, sternum up. Lift up through your, yes. You can open up your upper back without collapsing in your chest, you guys. So lift up through your sternum. And unwind your arms for twisting warrior. Inhale, left arm up, open up the left side body, feel it, enjoy it. And exhale, left elbow tip on your thigh, make a fist with your left hand, right palm is on top of your fist. Inhale, move your side ribs away from your side waist. Exhale, press your right palm on top of your fist, 
roll open through your right shoulder and then hang your head down. Deepen your breath. Even though you're twisting and there is a contraction going on in your front body, you can still deepen your breath. And the way you do it is bring more awareness to your back body. Breathe into the back of your heart. Spread open your back ribs with breath. Twisting triangle. Straighten out both legs. You may need to step your back foot forward a couple of inches. Left hand down. Right hand can be on your sacrum or you can stretch it up. So twisting triangle is a fascinating pose. So much is happening right now. You're opening up your hamstrings, you're twisting, you're opening up your shoulders, your mid, low back, you're balancing. And if you want to test that balance, hang your head down and that will literally force you to anchor down through your legs. Use your core, Roberta, roll open through your top shoulder way more. Yes. And release, vinyasa, step back, chaturanga. Give yourself the luxury of time to truly feel and enjoy your heart opening and up dog. And then exhale, down dog. Reverse warrior with neck release. Inhale, step your left foot forward between your hands into warrior two. Place your right hand on the crease of your right hip. Your upper body is leaning towards your back leg. Your head is hanging towards your right shoulder and your left fingertips reach towards your left knee. This is reverse warrior with neck release. Stacy, lower your left arm down more. Inhale, lift up through your side ribs, through your sternum. Janet, lean your upper body towards your back leg more. Yeah, like you're doing reverse warrior, except that the neck release portion is when your head is hanging towards your right shoulder. And when you energetically reach out through your left fingertips, you can feel truly magic happening along the left side of your neck. All of these tight muscles in the neck, the scalings, most of us, they have, they're super tight. So here you get to relax and let go. Warrior interlock, reach out through your left arm as you drag your torso up, go for the bind. You can connect your hands under that left thigh. If that is way too intense for you right now, you can place your left forearm on your thigh and go for half bind. Celebrate what you can do. Press down through your strong legs. Press down through your feet. Inhale, move your diaphragm, that place where your bottom ribs connect to each other. Move it away from your belly button. Big breath in. Exhale, roll open through your top shoulder. Hang your head down. And internally, you got to relax. Relax into this pose. Practice in a struggle-free way. Easy bird of paradise. If you have the bind, come on up, balancing on your back foot, stepping your back foot forward. Come on up, balancing on your right foot. If you don't have the bind, stand up on your right foot and hug your left knee in towards your chest. Good job, Roberta. If you want an intermediate step, you can hold on to your left foot with both hands and straighten out your left leg as much as you can. And slowly ease your way out of the pose. Let go of your bind. Step back, Chaturanga. Inhale, Cobra, up or upward facing dog. Good job, Lisa. Exhale, down dog. Reverse warrior with neck release. Step your right foot forward between your hands. This time, place your left hand on the crease of your left hip. Lean your upper body towards your back leg and reach your right fingertips towards your right knee and enjoy. Enjoy the right side of your neck opening up in the most delightful way. You can wiggle your right shoulder 
a little bit back and forth and feel how that little movement in the shoulder, it kind of pulls on those stringy muscles in your neck. Alyssa, lower your arm down a little bit more towards the knee and energetically reach out through your fingertips as if you're trying to reach that knee. Stacy, arm down a little bit more. Here we go. Enjoy. Enjoy the neck opening up. Lift up through your sternum so you're not collapsing into your lower back. Use your left hand on your left hip to press down and lift up out of your lower back. Interlock warrior. Reach out through your right arm as you drag your torso up and then go for the bind, half bind, almost bind. Play with a variation of this pose that feels good. Roberta, bottom shoulder down away from your ear. Breathe. And then easy bird of paradise or standing on your left leg, hugging right knee in towards your chest is a variation of the pose. Beautiful, Jacqueline. Good job, everybody. Relax your jaw and release. Step back, Chaturanga. Let go of your bind, vinyasa. Spread your hand bones and your fingers wide. Inhale, lift your heart, spread open through your collarbones. Exhale, down dog. Man, coon, step your left foot forward between your hands. And it's a little bit wider stance laterally. So you move your left foot to the left. Both hands are on the inside of your foot. Curl your back toes under and lift your back knee up. Janet, lower your uh, groin down towards the floor. And then if you want, you can lower down onto your forearms, going deeper. If you need extra support, you can place your back knee down on the mat. Inhale, telescope your ribs forward, away from the pelvis. Exhale, relax your neck. Breathe down into your pelvis, into your hips. Mancun is a great way to open up the hips, create length in, in between the vertebrae in your spine. Open up the quads, the hip flexors. Pigeon heel to butt. Place your left chin down on the mat. And you can fold forward or for heel to butt, reach back with your right hand, catch your foot, and then fold forward, bringing your heel closer to your butt. Breathe deeply. When you breathe deeply, you get to tap into pleasure. When you breathe deeply, you get to tap into your innate wisdom, innate knowing, intuition, inner guidance. So start right now. The beauty of your yoga practice is when you learn to do these little adjustments, shifting, changing your habitual patterns on your yoga mats, it becomes easier to create bigger shifts in your life, like taking a deep breath. The moment we're stressed out, the moment we're overwhelmed, we stop breathing. My teacher says, when you stop breathing, you become your stupidest self. So right now, yes, Sean, you literally become your most stupid self. So learn to remember to take a deep nourishing breath right here in Pigeon. Twisting pigeon armpit to the foot. Lean to your left butt cheek. You become lopsided here. Move your left shin forward so it's parallel to the short edge of your mat. Bend your back knee, move it forward. And then inhale, stretch your left arm up, open up the left side body. Exhale, hook your elbow tip or your armpit against your foot, make a 
fist with your left hand, right palm is on top of your fist, or you can grab onto your foot with both hands and pull your sternum towards your foot like crazy. Oh guys, this is my favorite pose. There is so much magic in this pose. So feel for it right now. Inhale and lengthen your spine even if it lengthens for just a millimeter. Exhale, press right palm on top of your fist, roll open through your right shoulder. Hang your head down, feel the sweetness of relaxing your neck, relax your brain. Move your sit bones and the top room of your sacrum away from your low back. And then if you're feeling extra talented, you can straighten out your back leg, curl your back toes under, and rotate the front of your right hip down towards the floor. All of these movements are super small, but they, they feel huge in the body. And breathe, breathe deeply down into your pelvis. Breathe deeply so that you can enjoy all the magic, all the gifts that this pose has to offer. And release. Take your time. Breathe deeply as you move through your vinyasa. You can skip the vinyasa and just come into down dog. Breathe deeply so you can stay in the state of being completely yoga stoned blissed out. Mancoon, step your right foot forward between your hands. Both hands are on the inside of your front foot. You can lower down onto your forearms. Breathe down into your pelvis, into your low back, because when you breathe down into the parts of your body that are stretching and opening, they can let go and they can surrender to the stretch rather than when you're tightening up and holding your breath, then the body is resistant to opening up. So breathe down into your hips. Feel your body respond to your breath by letting go. And when you let go, you get to feel pleasure. You get to feel joy. You get to feel ease. You get to delight in your practice. Pigeon, heel to butt. Place your right chin down on the mat. Breathe through your transitions. And you can fold your torso down or you can reach back with your left hand, grab hold of your foot and then fold forward, literally bringing your heel to your butt. And then close your eyes and go inside. Go inside and connect in feeling with your breath. Enjoy your hips stretching open. And when you your different parts of your body open, they relax, they let go, the energy starts moving through your body with effortless ease. When the energy flows through your body the way it was designed to flow, then you get to experience your ultimate health. Limitless energy, strength, buoyancy, vitality, ease. And it starts right here in this pose with taking a deep breath and enjoying it, listening to the innate wisdom of your body. What is your body trying to tell you?
twisting pigeon, armpit to the foot. Bend your back knee, move it forward. Lean onto your right side, right butt cheek. Bring your right shin parallel to the top edge of your mat and flex your toes back. Inhale, stretch your right arm up towards the sky. Give yourself a moment here to enjoy the stretch in your side body. And then on your exhale, bring your elbow tip to your foot or bring your armpit to the foot. Make a fist with your right hand, left palm is on top of your fist. There is a more subtle stretch that is taking place right now in your right shoulder blade. When you hook your elbow or your armpit against your foot, you, in a way, you get to separate or unstick the right shoulder blade off of your back ribs. For a lot of us, because we lost mobility in the shoulders and the upper back, the shoulder blades are literally stuck to the ribs. They are not mobile. So in this pose, feel that place underneath your right shoulder blade. Take a deep inhale under your right shoulder blade. Exhale. Feel for unsticking the shoulder blade off of your back ribs. Maybe you can wiggle a little bit. Maybe you can press your elbow tip against your foot. Maybe, maybe you can feel the shoulder blade move just one millimeter. All of those things are big wins. Even taking a breath and feeling underneath your shoulder blades is a win. It's not like something that you do every day. Feel for that. And savor that, enjoy that sensation. And release, vinyasa. Take your sweet time, peel yourself off of the floor, step back into chaturanga, inhale up dog, pause to enjoy the opening in your upper back, heart, exhale down dog. And place your knees down on the mat, sit up and watch Roger as he demos flank stretch. Come into separate leg forward fold, Roger. And then with your right hand, catch the outer edge of your left ankle. Notice how his left hand is on the floor. He's pressing his left hand down and moving his right ribs away from that leg towards the opposite leg. That stretch is so exquisite. So we get to do that in a moment. Everybody come into down dog. Take a really deep breath in here. Open your mouth and exhale. Flank stretch. Step your left foot forward between your hands and then open up for separate leg forward fold or standing straddle forward fold. Your feet are parallel to each other. With both hands, grab onto your left ankle or like shin or whatever you can reach. And move your right ribs towards your right leg. If your left hand can reach the floor outside of your left foot, then place your hand on the floor and press down through your left hand. And as you do that, move your right ribs closer towards your right leg. Make yourself flat, like a flat Stanley as much as possible because the right ribs tend to roll up towards the sky, bring them closer towards your thigh. Relax your throat, relax your neck. Breathe deeply and enjoy the stretch in your right flank. Lunge with toes curled under. Turn towards the front of your mat, bend your left knee, 
come into lunge with back toes curled under. Your back knee is a quarter inch off the floor. Lower your groin down. You can stay here with your hands on the floor. If you're feeling extra, your hands can be on your thigh. If you're feeling super strong, you can stretch your arms up towards the sky while keeping your groin really close to the floor and back knee a quarter inch off the floor. Twisting pigeon over the thigh. Left shin down. Bring your foot really close to your groin. And then fold your torso over your left thigh. You can even walk your hands and forearms farther to the left. And you're stretching your right flank again, right side body, right side waist. You can curl your back toes under, reach back through your back heel and walk your arms over to the left more and you might feel it even a, a more stretch, deeper stretch in your right side body. And release, step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, take Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. Exhale, Down Dog. Flank stretch. Step your right foot forward and come into separate leg forward fold with both hands, grab onto your right ankle this time. If your right hand can touch the floor outside of your right foot, then place your foot on the floor. If you have a block, I see that Claire has a block, you can place your right hand on the block outside of your right foot. That's bringing the earth up. Press your hand against the floor or the block. Move your left ribs towards your left thigh. And make yourself flat. So Roberta, bring your left ribs closer towards your left thigh. Relax your neck, enjoy. Breathe. Breathe into your left side body, the side of your body, the side ribs where you feel the stretch. Mm. Lunge with back toes curled under. Turn towards the front of your mat. Curl your back toes under, lower your groin down towards the floor and keep your back knee a quarter inch off the floor. You can rock back and forth. It opens up the hips in a different kind of way. And if you want more challenge, you can place both hands on your knee or you can stretch your arms up towards the sky. Roger, lift up through your ribs more. Twisting pigeon over the thigh. Place your right shin down on the mat. Bring your, shin, bring your heel closer towards your groin. And then walk your hands over to the right. You can curl your back toes under and rotate the front of your left hip down towards the floor. Deepen your breath. And release. Step back into Chaturanga. Inhale, take Cobra or Upward Facing Dog. 
and exhale, down dog. Place your knees down on the mat, sit up, have a sip of water. As you watch Roger demo Twining Vine, the first stage. So Roger, come into separate leg, forward fold. So in, in, in the Twining Vine first stage, your feet are closer in towards each other, closer than separate leg, forward fold. Bring one arm be between your legs and go for the bind. Your hands may or may not connect. If they don't quite connect, you can use a strap. And then um, watch Roger here. Roger, inhale, lengthen the spine down towards the floor, relax your neck. Exhale, roll open through that shoulder, twist. You're twisting, it's a twisting pose. And release. Thanks, Roger. You guys are gonna do that on your own. So twining vine, let's say five to 10 breaths on one side and then five to 10 breaths on the other side. So come into standing straddle forward fold or separate leg forward fold. And here bring your feet a little bit closer in towards each other. So they're about hip width apart, maybe a little bit wider. Let's say bring your right arm between your legs, wrap your left arm around your low back and see if you can connect your hands. And if your hands are not quite touching yet, you can use a strap. You can also bend your knees to take it out of your hamstrings. Inhale, let your spine become long, stretching down towards the floor. And then exhale, roll open through your left shoulder and hang your head down. A lot is going on here. It's a forward fold, it's a neck release, it's a twist, it's a bind and untwist. If you need a little bit of a breather between the sides, you can squat down here for a moment, come into Malasana. So this is also an inversion, right? Your head is lower than your heart. Inversions can be quite exhilarating. So take your time, breathe. And then to this other side, bring your left arm between your legs, wrap your right arm around your low back, connect your hands. Roll open through your right shoulder this time because it is a twist. And relax your neck. And really slowly ease your way out of the pose. Lie down on your back. Looks like Roger wanted to do another pose. <laughs> Hug your knees in towards your chest. And give yourself a big hug rocking side to side. Let's take easy spinal twists. Place your feet on the floor. Scoot your booty over to the left, knees to the right. Stretch your left arm by your ear. And to the other side. Come back to the middle for Shavasana. Stretch your legs out, stretch your arms out. Turn your palms up towards the sky and close your eyes. Exhale all the breath out of your lungs. Take a really slow, deep, feel good inhale. Open your mouth and let it go. 
so that again, inhale slowly, deeply. Open your mouth and let it go. This time truly feeling the pleasure, the joy, the delight of your breath. Exhale and let go, feel your body relax, relaxing your shoulders, relaxing your belly, relaxing your pelvis. And feel or imagine feeling the space right in the middle of your skull, the center of your brain. Take a deep breath into the very center of your brain, the center of your skull. Exhale, feel your brain relax. Relax the backs of your eyes, your inner ears, the back of your throat. Feel the top and the back of your brain. Take a deep breath in into the top and the back of your brain. Exhale, feel your brain relax. Feel your jaw, your shoulders, your neck relax. and stay connected with your deep, feel-good breath. Enjoy your breath. Remember, the universe enjoys joy in any shape and form. So enjoy relaxing right now. Enjoy your breath. In this moment right now, your body is open, physically open, energetically wide open, spiritually wide open. Breathe deeply and enjoy and savor this feeling, this sensation. And in this state of bliss and pleasure, in this state of letting go and surrendering, you can internally ask, what would you have me do today? What would you have me do today? And then breathe and simply listen. Listen with your inner ears. Listen with your inner eyes. Listen with your feelings.
Feel your breath again. Take a deep breath in. Open your mouth and exhale. Stretch your arms up and over your head for full body stretch. Enjoy the stretch. Stretch in any way that feels good. Bend your knees and hug them in towards your chest. You can sway side to side, massaging your lower back, your kidneys against the floor, massaging your internal organs with your thighs. Feel the simple pleasure of this simple, simple pose. And then roll to your side. Take your time, stay connected with the breath. Stay connected to bliss. Slowly coming up to a seated position and sit up really tall. And here, stretch your arms up towards the sky. Take a big breath in, open your heart. And exhale, bring your hands to your heart center. And internally, you can say, I love you and thank you. And this is how, my friends, you ask for guidance. Once you receive the guidance that can come in so many different ways, your job is to obey the guidance. Follow the guidance. And I promise you, if you do, you get to experience life beyond your wildest dreams. Namaste. Good job, good job, everybody. Drink lots of water.